What is up Summit Life fam and welcome back to another episode and welcome to my shop here in Park City, Utah. Now today's video is very exciting. Here's my brand new 2022 Polaris snowmobile. We're going to be changing the color of that today, but first I wanted to address our last video. If you have not seen that, definitely pause this one right now and go watch it. This is my 2006 Camperghini. We, in the last video, we added the rooftop tent to the back and Faith and I could not be more excited. Now we haven't taken it camping yet, um, but I am planning that very, very, very soon and you guys know I'm going to be bringing you along with me. And like I said in the last video, we added the rooftop tent to the Camperghini right here and we did so with a rear subframe mounted bracket that holds the uh, platform right here. And I mentioned in that video that I have so many more ideas for this Camperghini, things to make it way more of a Camperghini. One of those things, I don't want to fully tell the idea yet because uh, it may not work out, but the very, very first step in figuring out if it does work out is seeing how much weight this platform can hold and how much weight the rear subframe brackets can hold. I conveniently have soft water here at my shop, so I have a ton of so water softener salt. In fact, I have uh, eight 50 pound bags, so that'd be 400 pounds. My goal for this right here is five to 600 pounds. Now that's about the only hint I can give you until um, I do a little bit more engineering on that. Wow, now right off the bat, this thing can hold 400 pounds, no problem. Shaking it around. Nothing seems to be making any weird noises. You see the suspension still has tons of room. So we just need to throw up a little bit more weight on there and shift the weight around a little bit and see how the guy reacts. Let me call Faith down. Welcome, Faith. Hi, um, apparently I'm needed for my weight. Yes. Which isn't much, so I don't know what I'm here for. It is not much, but do you have any idea what I'm doing right now? You're seeing how much this can hold? Yep, exactly. So I'm gonna hold your hand and you're gonna climb on up. Wow, you look great up there. Ooh, that's, that's exactly what I need you to do. Do, do that one more time. Moves it a lot. A little bit more. Perfect, keep doing that. It looks like we have tons of room in the rear suspension here and the suspension's barely moving. Wow, now this is awesome. So, with Faith up here and with the platform and everything, it's about 500 pounds, which was my weight goal limit for the test. Now, I need to get to the drawing board to make sure that I can actually design what I'm thinking, put it down on paper, and then we may have another version of the Camperghini coming very, very, very soon. I cannot wait, but let's get to the sled. So as much as I like this blue wrap, I did not choose this, and this was someone else's sled before it was mine, and I really, really, really wanna make it my own. Before I unveil the new color, we need to get to work right now on removing the old wrap. Now I've heard this can be tedious, so let's get a jump on that, and then I will unveil the brand new color for my snowmobile. And just like that, the sled is completely unwrapped. Now this is what it looks like from factory. And I think it looks pretty good, but it's ready for some new vinyl. But Faith had a quick wardrobe change. Now I am slacking a little bit here. I was working on the sled. I need to go change really, really quick uh, because right after we unveil the color of the vinyl, Faith and I are actually going to dinner with another YouTuber who's in town. His name is Dirty Max Jack. Dirty Max Jack is from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area and him and his wife every Christmas or New Year's come into town and we go get dinner with them. So I think it's a great time for us to unveil the vinyl and then go get some dinner. Sounds good to me. I have not seen the design, nor have I seen the actual vinyl yet, but Clayton says it matches one of our cars. Yes, we're going with a theme here. 
Now, when I met with ECD Raps, they came out with a brand new film that they wanted to kind of promote and hype up, so I went with that, and it is a chrome vinyl. Now, are you ready to see this? I am. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Pink? Hold on. Chrome. This doesn't match one of our cars, it matches one of James's cars, though. It matches his, this car right His here? Bugatti! Well, his Bugatti is silver chrome, it is. It is pink and silver chrome. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy smokes, is this, is this gonna be a hazard on sunny days? Um, I hope not. I think it's actually gonna be really fun on summer days. It's really reflective. I am not gonna get some, lost. Some poor guy is gonna be out there and catch a glare from your sled and go blind and then hit a tree and... I definitely hope not. Now that you mention it, <laughs> I did not plan on this matching James's Bugatti at all. I planned on it matching our Gallardo. And I it does. And I forgot that James's Bugatti is pink and chrome. It's okay, <laughs> it matches two cars. Most importantly, it matches the Gallardo. Well, we're just gonna have to do a Bugatti photo shoot now. Oh, I guess so. Hey, there you go. Win-win. Yeah. So this is the big surprise. This is the new color for my snowmobile, pink and chrome, and I am super, super excited. But Faith, we are running behind schedule for dinner. We are going to go get dinner super fast. Well, it'll be a few hours for us, but just a few seconds for you guys. We'll be right back. And we are back from dinner with full bellies. And Dirty Max Jack says hi to all of you. The night is slipping away. We kind of spent a little bit too much time with Dirty Max Jack. He's a cool guy, what can I say? He's pretty cool, I enjoyed my time. But we also have uh, a lot of work to do in the shop tomorrow, so this needs to kind of get done. Mm -hmm. This needs to be like, like done like tonight. Uh, okay, let's get going. So this looks pretty familiar because we've done a ECD wrap before on our Razor. So we are pretty much pros at this by now. It's basically one big puzzle. Yeah, and, and so we just did a puzzle this weekend, so we're in the puzzle mindset. We did a Christmas puzzle. We That's did a right. Christmas puzzle, so let's let's get this puzzle underway. He's getting suited up. You guys know the drill. Yeah, this is pretty technical stuff. So we're gonna start. I I uh, I pushed for this piece to be the first. And that's it, folks. There she is. There's the wrap. All done. Dang. That looks so good. Obviously, we're joking. We have about a million more pieces to go. I'd say about 30. 30 pieces? What's up, Sal? What are you barking at? You picking fights with Squidward? Let me put something on. Let me put something on. Oh, you want to put a piece on? Yeah. Okay, here's the next piece. Perfect. My work here is done. Three out of one million pieces. We said 30. There's 30, 30 pieces. pieces. There's, I think there's more than 30. I think 30. there's 50 pieces. 50. It's a little past Faith's bedtime. I'm gonna leave you to your 150 piece puzzle here. 150, I thought we said it was 80 pieces. Something like that. This girl's gotta sleep. I have to sleep too, but I gotta get this done. Nobody's making you do this. You do this because you want to. I, Don't yeah. play the victim, quit it. All right, well since I won't be here to get some magical shots, I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. And then are we gonna get my reaction to it being completed in the morning? Is it gonna be completed in the morning? I'm hoping like 80 to 85% complete by the morning. That's fine. I will see the Barbie sled transformation in the morning. See ya, good night.
Finally, all of the vinyl is on the sled. It turned out so good. I'm really excited to hear Faith's opinion. Let me call up to her and get her down here. Hey, Faith, all done. You ready to see it? I mean, I saw a snippet of it earlier, but not in its entirety. Okay. Okay. It's a Barbie mobile. It's a Barbie mobile. <laughs> looks just like we thought it would. I think it actually looks a lot better now that the pieces are on the sled. When I was looking at it, I was like, man, this is flashy. And it is flashy. It, it is. It is very, very it's flashy. It's extremely flashy, but beers. And I personally think the kit fit really, really well. The last wrap that was on it was decent, but it didn't have any of this section here. So ECD Customs, their wraps, they have really, really good coverage and they cover all the various pieces. It only took you two days to finish it. Yeah, yeah, I worked until about 3 a.m. last night and then a couple hours tonight. But luckily for you, it's dumping outside and you're going yes. snowmobiling tomorrow, right? I am. I figured it would be perfect timing to finish the wrap the night before taking it out on the mountain and really seeing what the wrap looks like out in the snow. We are getting dumped on tonight. It is currently blizzarding. It should blizzard till tomorrow night, which is perfect for a day of snowmobiling. Fun. Yes, I gotta get this thing loaded up in the morning and we are meeting my buddy Jinwon at the trailhead at 8 a.m. Bright and early. Not bright, it'll be blizzarding. Blizzarding and early. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep before tomorrow's festivities since I stayed up so late last night wrapping. I am exhausted. I will see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning everybody. We are here at the trailhead and the sled is looking hot. We need to get this thing unloaded ASAP so we can start riding. We are not even on the snow yet and the wrap is looking so good. We are here in the parking lot. I gotta get all suited up and then let's get out on the trail and uh, let's go have some fun today. Wow, you guys, it is deep. It is way deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's like, I'd say six, six to seven feet deep, you'd say, right? We can probe it, but yeah, probably. Yeah, it is deep. I'm getting face checked the whole time, trying to get footage for you guys, but this sled looks so good out in the snow here. In fact, I'm confident to say my new wrap on my sled is making me a significantly better rider. Now I have no scientific backing to that statement. It just feels right. It just feels right to have a pink chrome snowmobile. Wow, what a fun day out on the mountain. My legs feel like rubber bands. I am so tired. I cannot wait to get home and rest. All we have to do now is load this bad boy up and get undressed and the day is complete. Oh, another day snowmobiling complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is kind of coming to an end. Um, I hope you guys like my new wrap. Let me know in the comments below if you think I went with the right choice or the wrong choice. I think it went with the right choice. There's no other sled in this parking lot like it, which is kind of my goal. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. I am exhausted. I'm gonna race home and get a nap. But until the next video, you guys, peace.